Um, just, I thought it was a really interesting question about the, the issue of the art of architecture versus Mike Dunn's question of functionality. Um, and I think it, it brings architecture back to community and back to grassroots as you know, what a building is for. Um, I'm a local architect, Jane Blakely. Um, I started for seven years, so I fully commiserate with, with the position that an architect looks and designs a building. Um, to give that extra something, I suppose, is, is the answer to Mike. Um, yes, the old, our old medieval forefathers, um, I think we're doing the same thing, really. Um, but there was a much, it was much more about functionality at that stage, perhaps. Um, my question to you, though, is, is um, it's a really interesting presentation. Um, and it, it's, it's a question that came up during my studies and something I grapple with with, with uh, the planning system and um, with our local planners is one of um, iconic architecture versus the issue of contextualism um, and how, how you actually set up the criteria for the um, Sterling Prize. Is it purely about iconic buildings or does contextualism, which is practicing architects do grapple with that on a weekly basis, particularly with, with the input from the planning system. Um, what would your answer be to that? Well, what is the criteria you have for the awards? Thank well, criteria. It, it's, it's interesting. The, um, the word context appears in the criteria. The word icon certainly doesn't. Um, icons happen, and to ignore them would be just as bad as to go out looking for them. Uh, so I think we are, again, we're, look, we're looking for the best. But specifically on the criteria, we have a list, and it includes all sorts of things. And sometimes we put sustainability at the top of the list, and then some, sometimes we say, like this afternoon's presentations, no, we'll put them in alphabetical order. But sustainability is, is a very important one. The impact that it has on its users and passers-by is, is very important, because architecture is not just for the people who use it, it's the people who use it by just looking at it. and walking walk past or going past on the bus or something like that. So, so that is important. I, uh, I think, uh, to sum up a number of the criteria, it is to say that um, architecture is a practical art in, in, in Victorian terms, if you like, and therefore it has to do both. It has to look good and it has to do something good. And, and I think that's what we're looking for. We're trying to... Do you think, though, it's something that I've often debated about <clears throat> And you know, looking at you know, whether or not uh, the Sterling Prize um, s starts to suggest a particular approach to architecture. You know, so you no know, one thinks of you know David's um, Museum of Literature, um, Accordia, um, the Sabre Centre, Astley, Everyman. That there's you know the, the there's a there's I mean I would say that those buildings are very much anti-icon and and, oh, and, and, and actually are about Buildings that are just beautifully crafted, um, tactile, um, ab about the experience of it. Uh, do you, have you seen that shift in the Sterling Prize, you think, or well, not? I think there probably has been. Um, that's partly to do with funding. We, was, we saw a lot of icons. I do hate the word, but we did see a lot of icons uh, in the early parts of the 21st century because of the lot of the, 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 was, the funding was there, the buildings were getting built, sometimes they didn't need to be built, sometimes they closed in six months. Um, uh, but I think, we, I don't think we look for one or the other. We, we're only judging what's out there. So I think there has been that development. Um, but I'm, I'm also mindful of what, what Will said, that architecture should be fun. It's, it's the duty of architecture to entertain us as well, to brighten up our lives. So we don't want, perhaps we don't want too many austere buildings, and perhaps occasionally we should look for something a little bit different. There's a, a question over here, I think. My name is